Friends, listen, if Israel gets their way, they're pushing us to world war. Look, I was not a fan of of Barack Obama and John Kerry, but I I will give them credit for one thing. I I would say thank God that uh, Barack Obama and Benjamin Netanyahu did not like each other. Mm. Thank God that they did not get along. Right. Because Mr. Netanyahu wanted Barack Obama to start the war with Iran. For eight years, he tried to get the war. And Barack Obama wouldn't do it. Barack Obama is, a, is, a, is not the type of guy who wants to have a war. He loves a revolution. He likes revolutions, not wars. You know why? Look, Barack Obama, his idea of talking to commanders are talking to communist revolutionaries. Right. He doesn't like talking to military commanders. He's uneasy sitting in a room talking to military commanders. He's very comfortable sitting in a room of communist street organizers. Comrades. Yes, comrades. So he couldn't get Barack Obama to start that war because Barack Obama didn't want to manage a war. Right. Now, if he'd ask him to start a revolution, sure, I'll get a revolution going. He was and good at that, and he did. He did. It was called the Arab... Spring. Spring. Yes. That was an Obama production financed by George Soros. He loved it. And everything going on in Syria today to this day was a production of President Obama and Hillary Clinton. So that's that's the that's the most that they got out of Barack Obama was the Arab Spring. So he couldn't get Obama to pull the trigger and go to war. But with President Trump in office, President Trump has surrounded himself with uh, Zionists, uh, his son-in-law, all of them all around him are hardcore Zionists, and you've got the Christian Zionists who are whispering in President Trump's ear, you're Cyrus the Great. Your name in Jamatria is connected to the Jewish Messiah. You've entered into immortality. You're going to build the third temple. This is what the Christian Zionists are saying to President Trump. Right, that's correct. And they're moving him. He's being managed. Benjamin Netanyahu's got these little Christian Zionists right there in his hand doing anything he tells them to do. He knows they influence the president. Yes. And so President Trump is being led into this war. That's why we have to pray that President Trump does not fall in this trap. But right now he's 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 waist deep in it right now. And we're dangerously close to bombing Syria. And that attack on Syria could end in a confrontation with Russian troops, which would lead to an all-out war. And if we get through this one with Idlib, the next stop is Iran in November. Yes. You know, and and President Trump's being led, uh, he's just being led down this road. They're telling him what to say. They're, they're telling him the threats to make. And he's so busy fighting off the attack. Who's, who's attacking? The same, the same people are attacking him. Yes. We're keeping they're attacking fun. him and, and, and leading him at the same time. It's, it's pressure from both sides. From both sides. On the outside, they're saying, Donald Trump, you're a Russian, you're a Rus- a Russian stooge. You're a, you're, a, you're a puppet for the Russians. And on the inside... He's being told, you're Cyrus, you're Cyrus, and you've got to attack, even if it means attacking the Russians, because you're Cyrus. It's the same group of people whispering in each ear. We need to pray for President Trump yes, that yes. he comes out of this delusion. Or we're all in deep trouble with World War III. It is not going to be nice. A billion people could die. You can't manage a world war with nuclear weapons. And who is behind this? Israel. Israel's pushing the world to the brink of calamity so that they can take out their Arab nations, neighbors, and weaken them and and then eventually claim the land as part of greater Israel. They're treating them like their own nations now. They, They want those countries. Yes, they're after it. So that's where we're at right now. And uh, so I hope this makes sense to you. I hope this uh, showing you the timeline as it's the same propaganda. And we could have we could have gone three hours. Today oh, really? We had, we had to cut it off. We had to cut it off, didn't we? Yes.
because we had so much information here that we just can't manage it yeah. today because there's so much that leads up to this. We, we overloaded our production department uh, and we just had to cut it off because there were so many videos and, and news articles that we could have shown you from the 90s, the 2000s to show you how Israel has been working the USA towards war. It's overwhelming. And, and for me, I've been sitting at this seat for 20 years and I've watched this happen. And it's the same story over and over and over. The same characters. Same characters. Benjamin Netanyahu, the propaganda meister. That is his job, propaganda. And they're building a Zionist empire. And, and you know, I just, all I can say, folks, is pray. Pray that President Trump does not go down this road. Listen. Barack Obama didn't do it. They did get George W. Bush to do it. To, they, they couldn't get Bill Clinton to do it. But they did get George Herbert Walker Bush to do it halfway. Hadn't made that connection to just now, but you're right. Yeah. You know, so uh, let's pray that uh, they don't succeed with Donald Trump. Yes. Wouldn't it be great if peace broke out instead of war? They don't want peace. They do not want peace. They do not want peace with the Palestinians. They don't want peace with the Arab neighbors. They don't want peace. They want their land. That's what this is about. It is about greater Israel. So thank you for hanging in there with us for over an hour. Uh, it's been a long week and uh, uh, we continue to pray.